is saying noble black supremacy and with this particular video I want to speak on Black Panther and I want to break down why black heroes have to be fantasy they can't be real heroes they have to be fantasy heroes that's given to us by the movie theater Hollywood the industry we can't celebrate real black heroes now for one Black Panther is a distraction from our devotion and love and appreciation for real black heroes that we actually had true heroes that contributed to social change and the upliftment of the condition of black people we have real heroes to do that and this is black history month by the way black happy black history month my favorite month of the year the most powerful holiday season that a black person can have until we manifest something else Black History Month. So happy Black History Month. But it's interesting that Black Panther the movie came out during Black History Month. Where we're supposed to be honoring our heroes and sheroes that have come and created so much progress and did so much great work for us that left such profound legacy. I'm talking about from ancient antiquity to the freedom fighters during slavery that contributed to the degree or level of freedom and liberation and consciousness that we have now. We're supposed to be honoring them. Marcus Garvey. Okay, we're supposed to be honoring Elijah Muhammad, Clarence 13X, Yahweh bin Yahweh. All of them, Mumia Abu Jamal, all of our black leaders that I can mention are supposed to be honored. The ones that are living, and the ones that are dead but instead of doing that we're now honoring a fantasy hero that the big screen gave us a fantasy hero is getting all the credit and all the respect now they're giving us a false reality to distract us from the real reality that is constructive and productive to social progress as far as the condition for black people during black history month so now this fantasy, virtual, artificial entity that they created is sucking all the energy from us. It's getting all the love and all the adoration and all the praise. Oh, such a great movie. Oh, my God. Your child wants to grow up and be a Black Panther. Be like Black Panther. Knowing that everything he did in the movie, he would be considered a terrorist, anti-government, vigilante. Everything he did in the movie for his tribe, his nation, his people to succeed and conquer, he would be considered a terrorist today. If any black man showed any degree of that type of aggression in any capacity or nobility in this society, they would be considered something evil. Like all of our black leaders are being considered. All of our black heroes today. We can't have a real black. Every time a black hero steps on the scene, they're getting torn down viciously. You looked at them as negative. Anytime you honor even an old or an ancient black leader, just for honoring them, you're looking at as being on some type of black power. You look, you looked at as being a racist. Just for honoring your greats, you looked, you looked at as, as, as being on that black stuff or racism when they honor their greats all the time. But if they give you one that they can make money and capitalize off of your adoration for, then it's okay for you to do it, no matter how violent the imagery is. No matter how much violence and murder and mayhem and killing and bloodshed, as long as we give it to you, it's okay. As long as we give one to you that we can make millions of dollars off of them, like the holidays that we gave you, because truly all these holidays are capitalistic benefits for the corporations. But as long as we give you one, it's okay for you to have it. But we're not going to give you one that's going to be pro progressive and constructive. We want to give you one that's going to keep you locked up into the realm of fantasies that we created. So they give you a Black Panther. So now when you used to go and Google and look up Black Panther and learn about Huey P. Newton and Fred Hampton and Mark Clark. And Stokely Carmichael or Kwame Ture used to go and type in Black Panther. They come up. Now this movie is coming up. Of this superhero that they gave you to distract you from the reality of the legacy of your true great heroes. 
You had true heroes that stepped on the scene that you've been distracted from. And they're capitalizing off of your desire to acknowledge the greatness of blackness, the greatness of who you are and how cultural and our esteem and our pride and our dignity, it's now have become something that they can capitalize off of. And they can sell it to you and keep it contained within the perspective that they can control, not one that will lead to your freedom and liberation as a people. It's easy for them to give you a fantasy hero when they tear down all your real heroes in front of you. So you don't even know what a he real hero looks like. Real heroes that's traveling the country to try to set up, traveling the world to try to set up communities and nation building and wake you up to the consciousness of who you are and going into different jungles in South America and different forces in the United States and standing up to white supremacy and being relevant on certain issues that pertain to black people. You'll never be able to acknowledge those heroes because those heroes are un-American, anti-American. Those heroes are anti-government. Those heroes are saying black lives matter. But it's okay to say black lives matter as long as you say black fictitious, animated, Marvel characters matter. Black Marvel character lives matters. But real black lives don't matter. See, you need a fantasy. They have to give you a fantasy. You accept the fantasy because you really want a true hero. You know a hero is needed. You know that iconic figure that can step on the scene, that can show all power and all ability and all consciousness and all pride and all dignity and all confidence can step on the scene and make shit happen. The race for black people actually thirsts for that. They thirst for that to manifest. That's what they really want and they really desire to manifest. So that's why if you give them a fake image and one that's made up that you can now sell it to them because you know you've deprived them of a real one and you've done everything to stop them from having a real hero. Every hero we mention, you've got something more negative to say about them than positive. And we know that everything that our heroes brought, all of the consciousness and Afrocentric knowledge and black consciousness, knowledge and information that they bought, you've encoded it within the movie. But all these real entities have bought that real information. You have made them villains. You villainized true black heroes in reality. And you've turned them heroes and, and you've made them heroic in fantasies. You've given us heroic fantasies and a villainized reality. So after your movie's over with, you have to turn back to the villainized, return back to the villainized black reality. And you have one moment of contemplating for a price. The greatness. And the, 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 the empowerment of blackness. You can contemplate that for a small price for just a little while and you will return back to the black villainized reality you're vulnerable you're gullible to a black fantasy because you've been turned off of black reality you watch every single hero that you get torn down in front of your face and not even just by the white man even by black men not even black leaders tearing down black leaders black heroes tearing down black heroes in front of our face in 2018 more black heroes have tore down black heroes more than I've ever seen before Boyce Watkins Tariq Nasheed Umar Johnson Black heroes tearing down black heroes. So you can have a black hero in reality that wins, that's victorious in the end, that's all powerful, that stands for something, that's independent, sovereign, nationalistic, cultural. You can't have that leader in reality, but you crave for it, you want it, you know it's necessary. So they give you the mythological equivalence to what you spiritually desire for. And they put it in a movie and they sell it to you. And then after the movie is over, you return to your villainized, self-hating black reality.
We know damn well that the Black Panthers should be respected and adored more as heroes than the fictitious fake Marvel character that they created during this month of black history. But it won't happen. Because they control your mind. They control your consciousness. They give you permission of when to have a hero and not have a hero. When to be happy, when to be sad. That's the whole point of a movie, is to control your emotions. To tell you how to feel, think, and write, and create the narrative for you, and give you permission to express certain aspects of yourself that should be expressed in reality. But they can be expressed in reality if you've been villainized. You have to wait for that window for them to produce that. And that's what the Black Panther movie is. It is a distraction from honoring our real heroes this month. It's capitalized on capitalism on black greatness. And it's just pacification. Just a filler. That's all. So that maybe all of these energies will be acted out in the movies. And you'll be satisfied and you can go back to work. And move back into your villainized paradigm by white supremacy. And accept it. And at least know it was a good movie. It was a great movie. And it was a moment where I can at least entertain with with, with master's permission. I can at least have a hero that he created, that he makes money off of, that he capitalized off of. This King Noble Black Supremacy, join my website, www.kingnobleuncensored.com. Donate and don't hate.